This is the uh, checking the current output calibration procedure and uh, that's how you hook it up schematically and where that's done is um, uh, it's covered up right now but it's inside uh, behind this transmitter uh, I had to take a wire this white one and connect it up to the terminals as they show on here then that wire goes over to a well it can be a precision resistor but I I'm using this decade box and I've got a pre-dialed in to 100 milliamps ohms. ohms excuse me ohms and then uh, so in the procedure it does say you can go um, as, as low as 50 ohms to as high as 750 but the recommended is the 100 ohms so that's why I've, I've used 100 ohms so to actually do it um, go to the current output check we want you to type in the resistor for us 100 ohms hit apply or enter that will take you to the next window and our display for 100 ohms is 0.399 Enter, uh, enter point three nine nine. It will do the calculation, error calculation for you. Goes to 12 milliamps. It wants you to put in the new resistance or voltage, uh, excuse me, uh, reading 1.3. Apply goes to 20 milliamps. Our value here 1.997 is what I'm going to type in 1.997 and apply. Test finished, and that's it. That's all there is to it. The one thing that I found unusual about my setup is how I snuck the wire in because you got to attach this to the glass you have to have that on so you can communicate between the two LEDs and that tells us we have traffic re receive transmit but I believe what what is better way to do it is feed it up through maybe that hole right there in the future and then you can get a better uh, cover uh, tighter or whatever and that's all there is to it for current calibration